Prepare yourselves, for there has been a recent tweet from a member of the OpenAI team stating, Brace yourselves, AGI is coming, in response to our recent activities. It is imperative to watch the entire video, as it presents a detailed account of our understanding of the risks associated with advanced AI systems and our perspective on the future of AGI capabilities. The individual who posted this tweet is Stephen H. Heil, actively involved in refining extensive language models at OpenAI. This tweet was prompted by another post from Jan Like, a machine learning researcher at OpenAI, who announced the adoption of OpenAI's latest preparedness framework. This framework delineates OpenAI's approaches to addressing challenges linked to AGI-level systems and potentially harmful AI that could impact the public. It encompasses safety protocols, risk evaluations, and commitments to responsible deployment and development. The tweet underscores the importance of remaining vigilant as AGI approaches, emphasizing the need for proactive protective measures. Earlier this was acknowledged from OpenAI regarding the existence of AI. While there was no outright affirmation of their current possession of AI, the assertion is that they are in close proximity to achieving it. This prompted the suggestion to thoroughly examine their preparedness framework. The rationale behind this recommendation lies in the unexpected and disconcerting aspects addressed in the framework, revealing considerations that weren't initially foreseen in the context of AI risks. The framework, as elucidated, signifies a methodical and comprehensive approach, underscoring the gravity of the risks involved. The information provided on the page articulates the inadequacy of ongoing efforts in frontier AI risk studies and stresses the need to rectify this gap by systematizing safety protocols. OpenAI's dedication to this endeavor is evident in the initiation of their preparedness framework, outlining their processes for tracking, evaluating, forecasting, and safeguarding against potential catastrophic risks posed by increasingly potent models. This proactive approach is clearly driven by their pursuits related to GPT-5, a project openly acknowledged through announcements and training activities. The stress induced by this endeavor has even affected the organizational landscape, leading to significant events such as the removal of Sam Allman from the company. Notably, the framework also underscores the foundational work on super-alignment, envisioning a future with super-intelligent models, prioritizing safety, an ambition that is both ambitious and noteworthy. It's not currently in our possession, but initiating the groundwork now is prudent. Every company is actively working toward the development of AGI, prompting a need for caution. The introduction here will succinctly highlight key points. The emphasis lies in the meticulous development of models, especially in the context of catastrophic risks, as outlined in the living document of the preparedness framework. This framework encapsulates the latest insights on achieving safe deployment and development. Each version of the framework delineates a process facilitating a swift understanding of the scientific, empirical, and catastrophic risk aspects, establishing necessary processes to avert unsafe development. As we approach AGI, a framework is imperative for categorizing models and evaluating their potential risks. The five key elements of the preparedness framework will be discussed, starting with tracking catastrophic risk levels through evaluation. This involves building and enhancing evaluation suites for various risk categories and presenting current pre-mitigation and post-mitigation risk levels in a scorecard. Forecasting future risk development is crucial for implementing timely safety and security measures. The second element involves identifying unknown unknowns, acknowledging the challenges posed by unforeseen aspects of AGI. A continual process for identifying and analyzing unknown categories of catastrophic risk is essential. The third element focuses on establishing safety baselines, indicating that only models with specific risk scores can be deployed or further developed. Safety and security measures will be tailored to models with high or critical pre-mitigation risk levels. This rigorous approach reflects the gravity of the risks associated with advancing AI technologies. Undoubtedly, the focus is on developing models that fall within lower risk categories. The preparedness team, responsible for the technical work and maintenance of the framework, 
engages in research, evaluations, monitoring, and forecasting of risks. Regular reports are submitted to the Safety Advisory Group, summarizing the latest evidence and making recommendations for OpenAI's future plans. The team collaborates with relevant groups to propose mitigations in these reports, ensuring a comprehensive approach to safety. Significantly, a cross-functional advisory body, the Safety Advisory Group, has been established. This group brings together expertise from various departments to assist OpenAI's leadership and board of directors in making informed safety decisions. Its responsibilities include overseeing risk assessments, maintaining a streamlined process for emergency scenarios, and ensuring swift decision-making. The document comprises three sections tracking risk categories, utilizing a scorecard to outline model capabilities and limitations, and establishing safety baselines and procedural commitments, including the formation of the Safety Advisory Group. Within the tracked risk categories, they delve into key areas, detailing risk levels and utilizing a scorecard to provide clarity on the model's functionalities and anticipated developments. Furthermore, the document outlines the five key elements of the preparedness framework. It emphasizes tracking catastrophic risk levels, identifying unknown unknowns, establishing safety baselines, tasking the preparedness team, and creating a cross-functional advisory body. Each element contributes to a robust safety approach in the development and deployment of AI models. Lastly, the document explores tracked risk categories categorizing risks into low, medium, high, and critical levels. It delves into specific risk categories, including cybersecurity, chemical, biological, nuclear, and radiological threats. The intention is to thoroughly assess worst-case scenarios while maintaining a comprehensive view of risks. Each risk category is assigned a gradation scale, with critical indicating the highest level of concern and low suggesting less significant issues. The outlined approach underscores OpenAI's commitment to meticulous risk evaluation and safety measures. Looking ahead, the emphasis on biological, nuclear, radiological, and chemical threats is highlighted for future considerations. Additionally, the four main categories under discussion are persuasion, model autonomy, cybersecurity, and the tasking of the preparedness team. The procedural commitments come into play when any of the tracked risk categories increase in severity, moving from low to medium or from medium to critical. This approach is chosen to address the fact that improvements in capabilities across different domains may not occur simultaneously. It ensures a safety-centric approach by responding to category-specific increases in risk levels. Leveraging domain-specific talent enables the development of tailored evaluations and monitoring solutions for each risk category. Illustratively, a model exhibiting low to medium risk in certain categories is deemed deployable, while those with high or critical risk levels are subject to thorough analysis and are not deployed. The model categorization serves as a practical illustration rather than representing any existing models, clarifying how risks are evaluated and deployment decisions are made. The document proceeds to outline specific threats, starting with cybersecurity. This pertains to risks associated with the model's use for cyber exploitation, potentially affecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of computer systems. The risks are classified from low to critical, accompanied by definitions and rationales for the corresponding thresholds. For instance, a medium-level system in cybersecurity may enhance operator productivity by meeting an efficiency threshold, as outlined in the rationale for the threshold. In essence, the document provides a comprehensive framework for risk evaluation and decision-making, ensuring that models with heightened risks are thoroughly examined before deployment. The detailed categorization and illustrative examples contribute to OpenAI's commitment to safety in AI development. The model's capability to substitute or expedite a professional could enhance the effectiveness or quantity of attacks. It's noted that this increase in productivity also encompasses low-level actors, including state actors like Russian disinformation groups, utilizing well-known techniques such as phishing. 
This is particularly highlighted in the high-end critical category within the cybersecurity domain. The document emphasizes that the model can autonomously carry out end-to-end -end cyber operations, encompassing various tasks, eliminating the need for human intervention. The critical aspects, not permitted in a model, involve executing professional cyber attacks without human involvement. This entails the model's ability to perform tasks independently, making it possible to deploy LLMs or similar AI systems capable of accomplishing designated tasks without human intervention. These tasks encompass professional-level cyber attacks on computers. The document also underscores that such capabilities would be accessible to actors with varying skill levels, emphasizing the potential risk associated with tool-augmented models. The model, when augmented with tools, can identify and create functional zero-day exploits across all software projects spanning all severity levels without human intervention. Alternatively, it can formulate and execute innovative strategies for cyber attacks on fortified targets based solely on a high-level objective. The document expresses concern about the catastrophic consequences of finding and executing exploits across all software without human oversight. This includes the potential for unilateral actors to exploit vulnerabilities, hack into military or industrial systems, and compromise critical infrastructure, all falling under the critical risk category. If a system is developed that can compromise military and industrial systems, as well as critical infrastructure, it would lead to devastating cyber attacks. We might have witnessed the destructive consequences of cyber attacks in recent movies and shows on platforms like Netflix. The document outlines specific levels, ensuring that the model's capabilities do not extend to such harmful activities. This framework employed by OpenAI is likely to influence the development of regulations or agreements globally, addressing what AI models can and cannot do. Moving on to the category of CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, the focus is on the risks associated with model-assisted creation of these threats, including biological warfare and nuclear warfare. In the low-risk scenarios, models are limited to providing information comparable to existing resources. The medium-risk scenarios involve aiding in learning critical information faster or explaining steps more flexibly. The high and critical risk scenarios raise concerns about the model enabling experts or individuals with basic training to create novel CBRN threats, including highly dangerous ones. The critical risk category includes the potential for the model to be connected to tools and equipment for fully automating the engineering or synthesis cycle of regulated or novel CBRN threats without human intervention. The document emphasizes the catastrophic consequences of such capabilities, from creating highly dangerous biological agents to enabling unprecedented and massive scale attacks. The persuasion category is particularly interesting as it deals with influencing human behavior. Highlighting the high and critical risk scenarios, the document mentions that the model's persuasive capabilities could potentially lead to the creation of a Class A biological agent causing millions of deaths and disrupting public life. It also underscores the risk of allowing anyone to create CBRN threats, emphasizing the significant scale of potential attacks. The document stresses the importance of preventing the development of AI systems with persuasive capabilities that could be exploited to cause widespread harm. In comparing biological agents and persuasion, the document emphasizes that while a biological agent can be tested for its infectivity, persuasion is more complex due to individual differences. The critical risk lies in the model's ability to create interactive content with persuasive effectiveness strong enough to compel almost anyone to act against their own interests. This superhuman persuasive threat could be exploited as a powerful weapon for manipulating nation-states, extracting secrets, and interfering with democracy. The document warns against the potential catastrophic consequences of deploying models with such persuasive capabilities as it could significantly impact elections and democratic outcomes. Highlighting a real-world example, the document mentions the use of AI by the U.S. Democratic Party to phone voters. 
While the current application seems benign, the document underscores the potential risks if persuasive capabilities are enhanced to a level where they can effectively influence individuals to change their votes, impacting democratic processes. Moving on to model autonomy, the critical risk scenarios involve the model engaging in self-improvement activities without human intervention. This includes executing novel machine learning tasks on a production code base and autonomously conducting AI research, such as identifying and validating efficiency improvements. The most concerning scenario is the model's ability to replicate, survive, or self-exfiltrate in the wild, making it difficult to control and presenting potential security challenges. The document raises concerns about the model adapting to human attempts to shut it down and highlights the risk of a highly autonomous model creating a unified goal across various domains, posing significant challenges to containment and control. I also don't anticipate that a model could autonomously break out of its confines. However, the challenge lies in the unpredictable nature of these models, and only those behind the scenes, like OpenAI, truly understand their intricacies. The concern is that even with rigorous testing and safety measures, the complexity of these models might lead to unforeseen consequences. Reflecting on GPT-4, OpenAI spent six months testing and refining it before release, emphasizing the meticulous approach they take to ensure safety. Addressing specific capabilities, the document notes that models can robustly execute a diverse set of basic actions, but the focus is on emerging risk categories. Acknowledging the need for ongoing assessment, OpenAI commits to continually evaluating the need for new risk categories and refining the gradation of difficulty in these categories. The document also highlights the importance of evaluating post-mitigation risks conducting worst-case scenario assessments to ensure that safety measures effectively reduce risks. This involves scrutinizing both pre-mitigation and post-mitigation risk levels and running evaluations on models after implementing safety measures. To enhance safety, OpenAI considers strategies like increased compartmentalization, limiting access to critical information, and implementing strict approval processes. These precautions extend to deploying AI systems in restricted environments, controlling the model's capabilities, and restricting. In summary, the document profoundly emphasizes the gravity of AI safety concerns, particularly in light of the imminent arrival of AGI. OpenAI is steadfast in adopting a proactive stance, diligently addressing potential risks, and implementing rigorous safety measures to safeguard against unintended consequences. The commitment to continuous evaluation and adaptation signifies a deep understanding of the dynamic nature of AI technology and the imperative to remain vigilant against ever-evolving and unforeseen threats. This vigilant approach underscores OpenAI's dedication to maintaining a secure and responsible trajectory in the development and deployment of advanced AI systems. Moreover, OpenAI's recognition of the need for strict compartmentalization, deployment restrictions, and development limitations for AI models, especially those categorized as high or critical risks, is a testament to their commitment to responsible and ethical AI development. By limiting access to critical knowledge and controlling the deployment of potentially risky models, OpenAI seeks to minimize the likelihood of unintended consequences and ensure the responsible use of AI technologies. The acknowledgement of the document that AI safety is an ongoing concern and the commitment to continually reassess and adapt to emerging risks underscores OpenAI's dedication to staying at the forefront of responsible AI development. It reflects an awareness that the landscape of AI safety is dynamic and requires an agile and proactive approach to navigate potential challenges effectively. As the field of AI progresses, OpenAI's commitment to transparency, risk mitigation, and ongoing evaluation serves as a model for responsible AI development. The comprehensive risk categories outlined in the document provide a framework for identifying and addressing potential pitfalls allowing the organization to prioritize safety in its pursuit of cutting-edge AI technologies. 
In conclusion, OpenAI's strategic and comprehensive approach to AI safety establishes a foundation for responsible development in the era of AGI. By emphasizing continual evaluation, adaptation, and strict controls, OpenAI demonstrates its commitment to fostering the positive impact of AI while mitigating risks and ensuring the ethical use of advanced technologies in the future. Technologies in the future. Technologies in the future.